Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I what is going on guys, I got Pokemon here with another video for you today and today we're going to be playing more of the Half Past Fate series. Today we're going to be getting into chapter 7 and uh, yeah, it's shaping up to be a really good story so far. I'm loving it so far. We're getting into the second half and yeah, I'm very excited to finish off the game. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch. I stream every now and then, you know, uh, I usually stream Splatoon or the Final Fantasy series or Stardew or Animal Crossing, whatever I'm feeling like that day. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure to click that link below and shoot me a follow over there. Remember to subscribe here, like, comment, and uh, today comment, uh, how you feeling? Tell me how you feeling, uh, let me know and I'll let you know how I'm feeling in the comments below as well. Without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Also, I swear I might look like an entire mess like the last video, but I swear I'm recording this on a different day. <laughs> yesterday, all right? What's going on with yesterday? Yesterday. Cut that, we're gonna cut that. No need to have that in the video. Chapter seven, yesterday. God, this game still looks so great. Alright, this is the address. I'm glad I was finally able to get the day off so I could come down here. I've never been to this part of town. It's kind of neato. Alright, Jaren, remember, you're on the quest. Let's check what kind of clues I have so far. So, I know Anna left her phone on a receipt for a ramen restaurant in this area. And that's about the goddammit, Jaren. I thought you were Detective Jaren! I thought you would have been no uh, you would have known by now. Damn bro, it's smudged even more. Is it smudged even more? No wait, I'm just stupid. Perhaps by doing a little bit of investigating I can find another clue. Detective Jaren is on the case. I should start by gathering some intel. Maybe I should ask around and see if someone knows on that. Uh man, these are background characters that like just keep popping out in other freaking things you can't let me walk into the street let me kill myself <laughs> all right there's oh the new ball it's the noodle ball my lucky noodle ball yeah it has to be that place right i can't go past this yeah all right so wait can i ask the people walking around stuff nope cannot ask him anything the sun talks about the history of pagoda cool nice Kyoto goods. All right. <laughs> what a f oh, what fun graffiti. <laughs> I'm a door. Fear me. <laughs> oh my God! These things are everywhere. Wait, why? <laughs> Green or purple? I don't know. It says Grace on her name tag. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the pencil case is pretty cute. So, but I haven't used a pencil case since grade school. What about you, lady? I can't talk to you? No? Okay. Cool. Must resist the cuteness. Nah, man. Don't resist the cuteness. Can't talk to you either. What about you? I can't talk to you. Oh, I can talk to you. Oh, wait. A collectible card game? Okay, that's what I'm getting into. No, is this the marketing chair? <laughs> she looks very bored. Her name tag says her name is Devin. What's up, Devin? Welcome to BB Bunny or whatever. What do you want? Um, so this may be weird, but I'm looking for a girl named Donna. Don't know any Anna. Are you sure? I think she comes to this street a lot. Nope, don't know her. You gonna buy anything or what? Uh, no, sorry. Whatever. Okay, cool. Being mean. What about you? Welcome to BB Bunny, uh, where a smiling heart is a smiling day. Can I help you find anything? I'm looking for this girl named Anna. I think she might live or work around here. Sorry, I don't know any people named Anna. But have you seen our monogrammed BB Bunny keychain? I bet your girl Anna would love one. Um, no, that's okay. I'm really just looking for her. If you get her one of these adorable bunny X, uh, XL plushies, I bet she would find you. I 
I don't think that would work, but, but thanks anyway. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Good marketing tactics. But no, I'm not interested. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's a Maneki noodle bar. I know that for sure. And I don't think I can go in here, can I? This is a really cool... Oh, shit. But I don't think you can go in here, can you? I wonder what this place is for. Is there actually anything inside? Can you get up to the top? What if... What if there's a super secret store that you need a password to enter? Or maybe it's the entrance to a hidden underground lair. Of course they had it in plain sight. No, focus there. You have a mission to complete. He looks bored. His name is Jack since his name is Lance. What's good, Lance? Welcome to Kyoto Goods. I'm Lance. What can I do for you? It's a weird question. But do you happen to know anyone named Anna? There's an Anna I played in the band with sometimes. Is that who you're looking for? Uh, maybe. What does she look like? Red hair, pale skin, wears black and white stripes all the time. No. No. That's not who I'm looking for. Thanks anyway. Yo. Nice. Teeth to look good. People take this tea thing very seriously. Yeah, of course they do. Employees only. Oh, I saw those in the an anime ones. Nice. All right. Next board. What can I do for you? Let me ask about Rocker Anna. So you and your friend Anna are in the bed. That's so cool. And my roommate. I'm on drums, Anna's on guitar, and my roommate does vocals. We're, we aren't great yet, but it's something to do on weekends, I guess. I always thought being in the band would be fun, but I don't have any sort of musical talents. I love listening to music, though. Well, hey, we're playing at the Regal Seagull tomorrow uh, night if you want to stop by. You can be Anna. Thanks, that sounds awesome. Never mind. Happens to me all the time. Yep. Alright, let's go into the Maneki Noodle Mall. Maneki noodle bar. Looks like a ramen restaurant. I haven't had lunch yet. No, focus. You gotta buy it. Oh, yeah. That's what you're gonna do here. Oh, with a cute couple eating ramen together and chilling. This could be me and all of Sunday. Nice. Hmm? What is it? I'm starting to get full. So you're asking me to finish the rest? No, it's so good. I wanna eat more. But I'll probably need your help in a few minutes. Just don't get sick, alright? <laughs> he looks like he enjoys his job. I would. It smells really good in here. And I bet he gets free ramen for lunch. Yum. Alright. I do not know how to pronounce that, nor will I try out of respect for the language. Uh, hello. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. How might I be of service? There's this girl, Anna. She gave me her number, but it got smudged, so I'm trying to find her. Do you know if she works around here or something? There isn't any Anna that works here. I don't know any regulars by that name either. You can try next door. Lots of people who work around here come in here for lunch pretty regularly. I'll keep asking around. Thank you. Let me ask you something else. How goes the search? Talk about ramen. What's on the menu? We got pretty much any kind of ramen you could want. Do you have matcha ramen? That's an intriguing idea. But no, we don't. Darn, I thought I might explain why Anna came here. She really likes matcha. Well, we have a matcha drink if you want that. No, I'm fine. Thanks. The search isn't going great. Are you sure you don't know anyone named Anna? Shortish, Japanese, black hair. That describes pretty much everyone on this block. Well, except for that boy with green hair. You might need <laughs> a bit more uh, to be a bit more specific. I wish I had a picture to show around. I'm a detective after all. You're a detective? Today I am. <laughs> I... Okay. Sounds like a business meeting. Why spoil a perfectly good look? She was work. That's what I want to know. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. A nice family meal at a ramen shop. My parents were more than, uh, more more the pizza and burritos type. That's fine. Gbhim two. <laughs> They're talking about a book club or something. Something about golems, genies. Sounds like a red book. I don't think I'm allowed back in here. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Uh, well, damn. Okay. Hmm. Kneeling on the ground seems uncomfortable at first. 
But now that I think about it, it's probably pretty relaxing. Yeah. Some people enjoying their tea. They look like they could be siblings. For sure. He seems to be enjoying his tea. He's talking with the guy across from him about programming a game. He's having shaders issues from porting, whatever that means. And you work at the game store, you should know what this means. Oh, it kinda smells like Updog in here. What do you think? I don't know. What's up dog? <laughs> Nothing about you. What's up with you? Hey! Andrew, I like you. Sounds like he's talking about programming with the other guy. For sure. Alright, cool. I, I just figured that out with the other one. Okay, I can't talk about that guy. Who are you? She looks flustered. I wonder if she's new. Hello. Can I get you anything? No, actually I was looking for a girl named Donna. Do you happen to know her? I don't know anyone named Donna. To tell you the truth, I don't know anyone. Period. I just started working here. I had an old man tell me... Uh, I had an old man earlier tell me he wanted the usual. I told him I didn't know what that was. He was a little hard of hearing, so he just kept telling me the usual. The usual. I don't know what that is. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. Sorry, it's just... The person I took over for, apparently she was really good at this. It feels like I have some really big shoes to fill, you know? Yeah, I understand. Don't worry, buddy. You can do it. Thank you. Anyway, sorry I got off on a tangent. Sorry I can't help you find your friend. Don't spoil it. I know you didn't come here for tea, but we're giving out free cups of soothing milk tea today. Would you like to try some? Yeah, sure. I'll take that free tea. Sure. Here you go. That is our special blend milk tea. It's perfect for soothing the throat. I would need that right now. Can I ask you why you're handing out free cups of tea? The owners are trying some new promotional tactics. Their daughter used to work here and had all sorts of promotional ideas. This was one of them. Is it working? I can't really tell yet. We just started. Well, free tea is free tea. Please, come again. Awesome. Can I show you this? Would you happen to recognize this number? Uh, it's a little smudge. I can't make it out. There's... That could be a three maybe? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Bummer. Damn. How's the search going? Uh, I know you just started, but are you sure you don't know an Anna? Or have you heard of an Anna at least? I'm telling you, man. I don't know anyone around here. I have an aunt on it, but I don't think you're looking for her. She lives in London. Do you have a picture of her? No. I should probably find one somehow. That's alright. I probably won't recognize her anyway. I'm terrible with faces. I do with the... Sorry, but the back... Uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck. You there, sir. I will show you the number. I got this from that girl, Anna. Hey, that recipe is... Hey, that receipt is from this restaurant. Really? Awesome. A clue. She must have come in recently if she was casually carrying around the receipt with her. That's what I figured. I was hoping someone around here would know who she was. Sorry, man. I don't know anything else about her. Yeah, it's fine. Thanks, anyways. Those lost connections are tough, but if you're willing to try this hard to find her, I believe you can do it. You're right. I can do it. Just have to keep trying, man. Alright. Uh, who else can I talk to? Who else can I talk to? Do y'all know this? I just can't bother them with this. Are you finished with that? No. This little guy seems to be lost. Yep. Ah, I just want to find my girl. Oh, fucking hell, Hall of Fame. It's a Hall of Fame or something called the Spicy Ramen Channel. There are only four people here. Oh my god, it's Anna! She won the Spicy Ramen Channel, that's so cool. I mean, this picture looks a like little younger, but it's definitely her. My first clue, and this picture is here is proof that I'm right, uh, that I'm on the right track. Pretty good at this investigation stuff. Now I just need to find someone who recognizes her so I can get more info. But how am I gonna show them this picture? Take a photo of it. Pixerception time. There you go. Perfect. Now I have a picture of Anna that I can show around. <sighs> Makes it even more badass that Anna's up there. Examine on this picture. That's all. I know, alright. She must have won this a while ago. She looks a lot younger. Four minutes and seven seconds. Whoa, I think that's the fastest time. Not only did she win the spicy ramen channel, she's the reigning champion? Bro, that'd be me. TBH, I love spicy ramen. <laughs> you sure 
Yeah, uh, sure know how to pick him, Jared. God damn it. Alright. This guy got six minutes and two seconds. That's pretty good. He looks like a Matt Stoney. <laughs> Alright. Six minutes and 15 seconds. Not bad, not bad. That looks like uh, what's called Jody. And that's Sam. <laughs> hey, this looks a lot like the manager from the antique store. Yeah, it's totally him. He completed the challenge in six minutes and 30, uh, thirty-three seconds. I could, I bet I could beat that. Yo, the search is not going great. Are you sure? Uh, shortest. Uh, yeah. She usually orders the tongue. Oh wait, shit. I just skipped on fuck. She usually orders the tonkatsu ramen if that's how, if that helps. It might. Is a clue kind of what is the spicy ramen challenge? I'm glad you asked. We're known for our spicy ramen, so we created a spicy ramen contest to commemorate those who can overcome its burning flavors. If you can eat the whole bowl of our spicy ramen in one sitting, you get the bowl for free. Additionally, if you can eat the entire bowl in one of the fastest times, you get our picture taken and put on the wall. You can see our current winners right over there on the wall of fame. Cool, I love spicy food. Would you like to try the challenge? Most definitely, but not right now. An investigation must finish. Are you asking me for my number? What? No, sorry. I was gonna ask you to play Space Nuts. The phone game or the MMO? The phone game. Nope. So you play the MMO? Nah, I don't have time for games. Oh. Oh, I didn't know her name was Anna. She comes in from time to time. Not as regularly as most people, but I always remember her because of the Hall of Fame. Sorry, I can't really tell you any more than that. She's you, or just... Yeah? Okay, cool, 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 cool. What? She don't know anyone named Anna? Ah, no, I told her already. I don't know anyone named Anna. Oh, okay. She's... This is going to be the girl that knows something. I swear to God, this is going to be the one that knows something. Would you happen to recognize this girl? Oh, huh. This is the Anna you've been looking for? Yeah, I know her. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you so much. Oh my god, really? That's great. Do you know where I could find her? No, I don't know where to find her. But I can do you one better. I know her real name. I know it's just her big girl nickname. Really? No one no one recognizes the name Anna. So what is her name? You like this girl, Anna? Yeah. Tell you what. You help me in my love quest and I will help you in yours. Uh, okay, what does that mean? There's a guy in this antique store next door. I like him. He likes me too. But whenever we have... But we never have any time to talk because of our stupid managers. They like... They have like a rivalry or something. We've tried going over to talk to him on my breaks. But his stupid manager always kicks me out just because I work here. If you can get his manager to leave, I'll tell you on his real name. Alright, deal. Thanks, bro. Let me know when the coast is clear. Alright. Some progress. Some progress. Ask about Devin. Did you know that Devin from BB Bunny Store likes you? Yeah, I like her too, but my boss doesn't like it when his employees are distracted, so I never get to talk to her. Yeah, she told me. She wants me to distract your boss so she can come over here and talk to you. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, so what's something that would make your boss want to leave? Well, the only time I saw him leave the shop during work hours was a few months ago when he thought someone had beat his record in the spicy ramen challenge at the ramen store down the street. <laughs> He's so proud of having his picture up there, I bet he would leave super quickly to try and get his title back if someone actually did beat him. Then that's what I'll have to do. For sure. Ask about the feud though. So your manager, your managers don't like each other? Yeah, from what I can tell, they actually used to be friends. They were both really into wrestling and would watch matches together. But then one day, they had a falling out. I'm not quite sure what it was about, but it sounds like something really stupid. Alright, never mind then. Alright. You, sir, give me ramen. Take the spicy ramen challenge. Let's go. Can I take the spicy ramen challenge? Of course. It's recommended that you have a beverage with you during the challenge. I have some tea from the tea house down the street. Eh? That will be perfect. So, do you feel ready to start the challenge now? I'm ready. Bring on that spice. Alright. Just so you know, as for the contest rules, if you cannot complete the challenge, you'll have to pay for the ramen. 
If you do complete the challenge, you get the bowl for free. Additionally, if you compete in less than 6 minutes and 33 seconds, you get your picture on the wall. Does that sound good? Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Alright, take a seat. I'll have that out for you in a minute. Can I say this empty terrible? Let's go. Alright. Come on, Jaren. You got this. Oh, shit. That looks good. <laughs> I say, as it is only a bowl of freaking pixels. There you go. I'll start with the timer as soon as you put the chopsticks in the bowl. Okay, Jaren. You can do it. It's for Allah. Oh my gosh, this is so, so, <laughs> so spicy, I'm dying. <laughs> I better drink some tea. Wow, that helped a lot. It's probably the milk inside the tea. And this tastes great. Okay, time to keep going. Let's go, dude. Come on, come on. Let's go. The pain. It's for love, Jaren. For love. <laughs> or at least for some girl that I kind of like. You got this, bro. Great job. You did it. Oh my gosh, that was torture. Well, your perseverance has won you a free bowl of ramen. Congratulations. What was my time? Six minutes and 32 seconds. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Congratulations. You barely made it into the Hall of Fame. Woohoo. Let me just get you your picture. Hey. <laughs> my boy said, hey. I'll need some time to get it printed and on the wall. In the meantime, here's a certificate of your achievement. Awesome. Thank you. Nice. Better go tell the antique store manager this great news. <laughs> I'm just gonna show him. I thought you might like to know. I'm busy. If you need, wait. What is that? It's my spicy ramen challenge hall of fame for certificate. I got into the hall of fame. Wait a minute. But that means, what was your time? It says here on the certificate, I did it in six minutes and thirty-two seconds. What? Let's go. Mission accomplished. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I don't need to look at this. Really? That's awesome. So, will you tell me on his real name now? Yeah. Here, I'll even write it down for you. Her name is Amain Yamamoto. Her parents own the tea shop next door. Now, if you don't mind, I have a boy to talk to. Hey Grace, I'm going on break. Alright, but be back in an hour. Sure, whatever. Fucking an hour? An hour long break? A main. No wonder no one knew who she was. Their parents owned the tea shop. What a great lead. I better follow it up. All the clues are coming together. For sure. Allow me to go into the store. Talk to you. I figured out that the Anna I'm looking for is the daughter of the owners of this tea shop. Her na real name is Amane or Amane Yamamoto. Oh, the girl you're looking for is Amane? I hear them talk about her all the time. The Yamamotos are in the back room. If you want to go to the back and talk to them, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Uh, are you sure that's okay? Yeah, they're very nice. They love talking about their daughter. They won't mind. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Yamamoto. You have a visitor. He's here to talk about Amane. Just right through here. Alright, cool. Sorry to bother you. This is weird, but I'm looking for your daughter, Hamane. Oh, hello. Are you a friend of Hamane's? It is so good to meet you. It is good to know Hamane is making friends, especially with a handsome young boy. You said you were having trouble finding her? Uh, yeah, you see, I met her at a tea festival last week, and we were supposed to hang out again, but I haven't been able to find her. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I don't think that's our Hamane. Hamane would have... wouldn't have gone to the festival. She doesn't like tea anymore. I'm pretty sure. Well, wait, I have a picture. This is a Amane, right? Oh yes, that is our Amane. But what is she doing at a tea festival? I saw she didn't like tea anymore. She quit working at the tea sh uh, at the shop to do finance or business something or other. Didn't Amane used to, uh, used to do promotional stuff at the tea shop when she worked here? Yes, but she got bored of us. We're far too old for her. Too traditional for her new ideas. She wants to do something more interesting for her career. 
No, no, you got it wrong. That's not what happened. She told me she took an internship at the finance company so she could learn more about marketing. She just wants to help the tea shop. That's why she was at the tea festival. I was helping her figure out what new customers would like. Oh, Amane, what an industrious girl. Is that so? We had no idea. Thank you very much for telling us. Also, maybe you could call Amane and apologize, yes? Yeah, I will give her a call. Oh, um, about that. So after the tea festival, she gave me her number and, well, it got so much. I was wondering, oh yes, no problem. I will get you her phone number. Really? Wow, thank you. It is no trouble. It has been so long since Amane showed any interest in the boy. We want Amane to be happy and she won't be young forever. So we're happy to help her along in her romantic life however we can. Uh, right. Thanks. <laughs> Here is her number. Thank you. Please don't smudge it. Wait. This is... This is definitely not the same number. Why would she give you the wrong number? I don't know. I guess the number she gave me was fake. Maybe she didn't want to hang out with me after all. No, that can't be. Aramane is not like it. Dude, what? Especially to such a handsome boy like you. Just give her a call. You can use the number we have. You know what? That's okay. I. If she did give me a fake number, then calling her real number would be... Well, I don't want to think... Her to think I'm a stalker or something. She would not think that. You're a good person. I'm sure I'm going to think so too. This must be a misunderstanding. My wife is right. You're such a nice man to come and tell us about our daughter's new work. We didn't even know she was doing an internship for this tea shop. We're so grateful you told us. She is so busy with her new work, we hardly get to sit down and talk with her anymore. That reminds me, I know Amane is having a meeting at a company tomorrow at 9.30am, I think. She told us about it the last time she came to visit. She was very excited, it's part of her big project. I think she said the company is called Nana Jolt? Nanavolt. Also, it's Nanavolt, not Nana Jolt. You really are getting old. Ah yes, Nanavolt. My memory isn't what it used to be. If you, do, if you won't call, go to Nanavolt. At least me here, there, and ask her in person. You two can sort this whole thing out. Okay, yeah. I'll think about it. Please do, I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I think I'll be going. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. and Mrs. Yamamoto. No problem. A friend of Amane's is family to us. Please come back anytime. Remember, tomorrow, 9.30 a.m., none of all. Of course it's a fake number. Why would a girl that cool give me uh, Why would a girl that cool give someone like me her number? She even told me it was just I was just her test subject. I can't believe I actually thought I had a chance. That's so stupid. Her parents seem to think I still have a chance though, which is weird in its own way. You know what? I've come this far, why wouldn't I go see her? Her parents could be right. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Detective Jaren never gives up the case. Never gives up the chase. Tomorrow, 9:30, huh? Good thing I don't have plans. Dude, that's so what? All right, that, all right. So that's two years ago now. That's gonna be chapter eight. Yep, chapter eight. All right, yeah. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Holy shit, there was a uh, that was a curveball thrown at the end, like. I did not expect that to actually be a fake number. Man, it's getting good. <laughs> it's getting good. I want to keep playing, but I'm going to have to put off the, uh, another episode for another bit. All right. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a comment below. Tell me how you're feeling today. Let me know you're doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. You know, uh, remember to leave a like, follow me on Twitch, subscribe here on YouTube. And until next time, guys. See you later.